Right, I'm figuring, I want to make it clear, I'm figuring this out as I go along. Now, when you think about it, every point could be treated as a North Pole or a South Pole um, and have 10 lines of longitude wrapped around the sphere. And what I need, I've put a circle, a 10 mil, a 12 mil circle, sorry, around each point because I don't fancy hollowing in. These are going to be hollowing in points. Um, in less than 12 millimeters even with a, a 3 8 inch um, hollowing tool I think that's plenty small enough to hollow it this sphere out from with uh, so as you go down one of the lines of latitude you meet another one and as you go right the way around two-thirds of the way around you meet another one and then as you go around you meet the opposite pole so that pole is opposite this pole we started at there and there so there's four points around each line of longitude from any point so what we're trying to do is get these I've got to be careful because these rub out so easily I'm trying to let them dry as I go along but it's not easy obviously I'm not going to draw these in by hand I'll explain what I've got to do next in a minute this is just getting the idea and what you're going to end up with in here is your ten pointed star um, right, that one's got to go around to there so to draw these parallel lines accurately I'm going to need to find for example there the, the uh, The equator for one thing between two every two points and then marking some points which will be the centers so that when this turns uh, and I'm marking a line here it comes out parallel you can't mark the other way because the lines will because it's a sphere they'll go into a point and I want the lines to go round so there'll be lines of I don't know what that's called actually like if I turn it that way it would be lines of longitude but uh, latitude anyway you get the point but what I see is immediately is that those uh, centres will fall between the uh, between these so which are five the next five things down and the opposite on the opposite pole so one of those and one of those I'm not sure maybe I need to find the equator for everyone and then work it out from there I think so yes if I find the equator and mark the equator then mark and actually mark out I can tell where the lines of uh, longitude are going to come so I'll mark out the lines of longitude and then once I've got that I know that my I'll have 10 points on that equator and it's where they cross where they cross it is where they cross yes so there and there will be one yes yeah it will so that's what I need to do I need for every point or every pair of points I need to find the equator mark on the lines of longitude then mark on the the, the centers on the equator so I'm gonna first thing I'm gonna do is collar these twelve points so that I don't unnumber them, so I don't lose track of them. I'm gonna clean this, erase this off again. This is my second attempt at figuring this out, and I'm getting there. 
um, you can see in these points here where it's starting to split out as I come round from the other points that's where uh, little pentagrams are going to form um, and the, the petals will form in there so it'll come like that and like that and that will form a petal or that will form a petal yeah I'm pretty sure now that, that that's what I've got to do I've got to find the equator for it treat every one of these as poles mark an equator mark out the ten lines of uh, on the, the longitudes easy actually I just put them in that way first and just draw the lines of longitude as I go round yeah that's easy enough so marking out the lines of longitude for every pair of points the equators between them so I can divide, use dividers to find the equator actually because it's, it's in the centre of the triangles there we go yeah, in the centre of those triangles should be the uh, equator and once I've got that I can mark out the, the five rotate it ten times and put the and that's why it's ten yes that's why it's a ten fold symmetry okay so I'm going to clean this off and mark up one set and then do another video